for auto parts, press 2. Hardware, press 2. Service. One moment, please. Good morning, Canadian Tire. Kate speaking. I may help you. Well, hi, David. Did you just speak to my brother, Paul? I'm not sure. Did he, was, he called about some parts there a couple minutes ago? Okay, I can transfer you to the parts department. One second. Yeah, but, but Paul called a couple minutes ago. Okay, I'm not sure. And you hung up on him. You're not sure? Yeah, but you hung up on him, and now he's kicking stuff around my yard. Okay, I will put you through, because I... I was outside. I didn't answer the phone. One second. Are you, you answered the phone. You sound like you're from uh, Newfoundland. I am, but it wasn't me. I'm sorry. Oh, you you're from Newfoundland, though. I am. Okay, that's 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 awesome, ma'am. Can I? Yeah, Paul's kicking jugs around my yard, and I just was wondering if I could talk to the guy in farts. I mean, parts. Okay, just one second. <laughs> I could be mean to her. Yes, I am. <laughs> I could be mean to her, though. No. <laughs> Hello, Nancy. You can't do that. Autoparts, Corey speaking. Hi, how you doing, Corey? Fantastic. How about you? Ah, pretty, pretty, pretty bad now, cause uh, my my brother was talking to the guy in uh, or the girl in service. Sure. And she hung up on him, and now he's booting oil jugs around the yard. And uh, how am I gonna clean that mess? He's booting what, sorry? He's he's booting oil jugs around my front yard, and he's pissed right off. And and all he wanted to do was talk to a guy in parts about parts. Yeah, she told me she transferred it over and there was nobody on the line. I think she hung up on him and that was, that's rude. Uh, no, when she puts it on a uh, mute, that's uh, like our hold button, are, I'm, silent. Are you calling me a mute? Like, I was only wanting to know about parts and my brother Paul's booting jugs around. Anyways, uh, are your tires, how are your tires? Are they from Canada? Well, you're Canadian tires, so your tires should be from Canada, or is that false advertisement? Just because we're Canadian tires doesn't mean they're all from Canada. Oh, okay, so if I had beef from uh, Canada, and I said Canadian beef, but it was from Missouri, well, that wouldn't that be false advertising? I probably would be, but just because our name is Canadian Tire doesn't mean we only sell tires from Canada. Well, anyway, uh... Oh, tires in Canada. No, okay, uh, do you have the, anyways, like a squeege? Because, you know, the boot, the, he's booting the oil jugs in my front yard, and it's black oil all over the white snow. If my landlord comes around, you know what that's going to look like on me now? I'm sorry, but that's not my problem. That's well, can I, you tell that girl in service that that was ignorant to her, and I'll be down there, and I have a bone to pick with her. Uh, she transferred a call, and when we put you on hold, it just goes silent on the phone. It'll sound like we hang up. It doesn't be... Oh, okay. Well, you, you explain the uh, the dial tone, the D at the end, when I was on hold for 45 seconds or longer. Couldn't tell you. Do you have... transferred the call over to me, and you, to answer it. Hey, are you... That's, that's rude. Do you have cigarettes there? You sell cigarettes? Do we sell cigarettes? Yeah, do you sell cigarettes there? How about, how about, what's the size of your oil jugs? What's that? What's the size of your oil jugs? Five liters. Boy, you got some big jugs down there. Yes, we do. Yeah, okay, I'll be down there to grab some WD-40 and some salted peanuts in a little while then. Sure thing. Have a good day, sir. You too. Bye.